In this tutorial, we will learn how to create a custom banner for your Blackboard course landing page using Adobe's InDesign. To begin, we want to navigate to the actual application InDesign. This is an Adobe product, and we'll start by using the Create New. Once we select Create New, we'll be prompted to set up our document from scratch. Now there are a variety of custom templates already available, but we're going to set up a new one that better reflects Blackboard uh, and the requirements for Blackboard. So we'll go ahead and we'll name this Blackboard Banner, and then we'll go ahead and we'll look at setting up the dimensions, the units that this is in, and the width and the height. So. We want to go ahead and set our units to pixels. That's what Blackboard is going to work within. And you have really two options for setup. You can see that here my previous is 480 by 80 pixels. That's Blackboard's actual recommendation. However, that's going to create a small logo. We'll look at that later. I'm going to recommend that you use 1000 pixels for your width and 150 pixels for your height and make sure that your orientation is set to landscape. The rest of this information we can kind of uh, brush through whether it's the margins, the bleed, and the slug. I'll come down to the lower corner here and select preview and we can look at the actual document layout. You can see that this kind of resembles a banner here. So we've committed and now we're ready to start creating. I'm going to begin by searching for the square box that's alongside my tool panel and I'm going to drag over this white background image. You can see that I'm being a little fussy here. I'm actually going to go ahead and undo that and I'm going to change my zoom setting so that it's a little bit easier to make these adjustments. Now, again, I'm going to go ahead and just cover up the shape here that I already have, because what we're doing is we're making a background layer. I want to make this layer red. So what I have over here in the Layers panel, you can see is that I have a variety of colors, and under Property, you can see that I have the fill right now set to white. I'm going to navigate not in swatches, but up to where it says color and set this to RGB. Then where it says number here, we're going to go ahead and set this to 990000. This is the color that Blackboard has been set up with for the red that matches the Lewis page. And now you can see that I have a red black, uh, sorry, a red background for this. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to use our text tool, that's the T here, and I'm going to go ahead and just drag within this um, magenta color and just outline that shape. And what we're really doing is we're just defining the area that the text is going to work in. And then I'll type in welcome to class name, that would be your class name, and then the course number. Obviously, you can make this whatever you desire. I'm going to move my cursor near the text and click three times with my mouse. Then I'm going to go over to the side under Properties and Appearance and change the fill to Paper. Again, you could change this to something else, but Paper is really going to cut through color-wise with the red. Then I'm going to navigate down to where you see the font size and I'm gonna keep adjusting the font size until it looks like things fit well. I like this. This makes sense. Now I'm gonna center the text under the paragraph section and you can see that it's shifted to the center. And Then I'm gonna open up some additional options below the character section. What I'm looking for is the baseline shift here and I'm gonna adjust this down as you can see and what this does is it is actually moving the text um, vertically up and down so I'm just gonna try and 
figure out where I want to center this. And this will change a little bit depending on the size of text that you're using. So I'm just looking for something that makes sense. So, and now when I select off of this, you can see that I have what's starting to look like a banner. Obviously I can spruce this up, um, but I would recommend really keeping this kind of simple. Now we want to save this, so we go into the file menu and we save. As we save this, we'll be prompted for a location just like we would in any other application. I'm going to also go ahead and I'm going to export this. And the reason that I'm going to do this is because InDesign saves as an InDesign file and we can't import an InDesign file into Blackboard. So under Format, I'm going to select PNG for this file type and save. The PNG file type is the file that we will be importing into Blackboard. Under the export PNG, your settings should be quality, high, resolution, 72 PPI, and color space RGB. And then confirm this by selecting export. Next we'll navigate into our Blackboard course shell that we want to place this. Notice that the current banner is actually using that 480 pixels by 80 pixels that Blackboard recommends and it looks a little small for my liking. They recommend this for mobile. We're going to go under the menu though and select custom teaching style. And under teaching style we'll navigate down to where we see select banner. You won't need to change anything other than this banner so I'm going to delete the pre-existing banner Go back to teaching style and now I'm going to go ahead and browse my computer and I'm going to load in the new banner that we've just created. Notice that I've also added the alt text for uh, accessibility. We'll submit this to confirm. I should get a dialog prompt and I will refresh the page and now we can see that we have our course banner and it looks size-wise more appropriate to the actual web page. Again, I know there's some difference between the mobile version and the web page version. I hope that you found this tutorial helpful. For more information, please visit us in the Faculty Center for the Advancement of Teaching and Learning.